Anyways, welcome everybody. It is Monday morning. Yes, it is. It is Monday morning, a new day. Good day, LA, or good day, whatever city you might be in. And um, man, we've had a lot of stuff going on throughout the past couple of days and over overnight, I'm sure. And um, this morning I was thinking, God, again, what is it that I could say? What is it that I could say? And I definitely was feeling at a loss for words. And then I remembered something. Today is actually an anniversary for me. June 1st, 1995, I moved to Los Angeles. It's been 25 years. It's been a quarter of a century, which is absolutely hard for me to imagine. It's been a quarter of a century. And the reason that I feel like there is some point in uh, mentioning this is because a quarter of a century ago, my life on the inside looks very much like parts of Los Angeles look on the outside right now. Without going into um, any specific details, I was going through lots of tragedy, and I don't use the word lightly, um, lots and lots of very intense uh, tragedy in my life. I was having an experience that was not common to most people uh, in their first year out of college, although lots of people experience tragedies, but I had a lot of very, very intense stuff going on. And I got to Los Angeles, and in this city, in a short amount of time, through grace, I was led to the practice of yoga, and I found a path of light through all of that tragedy that not only transformed my inner world, but really helped me to find a sense of appreciation for everything that I had gone through up until that point. Um, you know, had it not been those intense experiences of, of tragedy and loss and destruction that I experienced in my life, I wouldn't really have had the fuel to uh, ignite myself on this path of consciousness and awakening that I did that ultimately led me to being right here, sharing and teaching with you uh, during these times. And uh, I think that grace is a, a word that has significance because I do look at everything that happened at that time as an act of grace. Everything from the hardships that befell me to the finding of the path. And ultimately, with consciousness, with insight, with uh, going inward, with practice, we can find grace in this moment as well. And it can become a moment of uh, a turning point and a moment of healing. You know, I was thinking about Ram Das again. I talk about him quite often, an amazing teacher. And I mentioned this documentary a while ago, but you may want to go and watch it. Uh, you can find it on Netflix, probably, or you can rent it on Amazon or Apple. Uh, a documentary made about him, I think it was about 1998, maybe 99, 96. Anyways, it was called Fierce Grace. And that was the term that he used. He already was this very, very famous kind of consciousness leader, spiritual leader, and he endures a stroke and he loses the ability to walk, the ability to talk. And it's about his rehabilitation and um, about how he sees this as an act of grace, but an act of fierce grace, fierce grace, fiercely shaking him to a whole new level of awakening. So that's my two bits, 25 years later, I feel very um, happy with where I am at, happy to be able to sit and share this with you. And um, maybe in a while, maybe in a quarter century from now, we're going to look back on this moment and say, wow, that was the moment of fierce grace. But ultimately, the choice is up to us, whether we're going to walk a path of light or whether we're going to walk a path of darkness. So let's walk a path of light together right now. Bring your hands to your heart. Fierce grace, finding the grace. 